Hi, this is News Wrap Up on Roma TV. I'm now Miriji. The headlines this week we have former President Chief Oyushe Mwabasanjo on Monday commended President Mohamed Buhari's led federal government for the support given at ensuring successful re election of the President of the African Development Bank. Akumi Adeshino. The state governor Prince Dakwa Biodo has warned the citizens to desist from protests capable of causing unrest and panic. This was following a protest by residents of Itele community Ado Dota local council to the governor's office over kingship tussle. A former Edo state governor Adam Sushomole has lamented that card readers are not working at some polling units in the Saturday's Edo governorship election. He said this after casting his vote at polling unit 1, Ward 10, in Uzaru Northeast, Esako West, local government area. The federal government has barred Emirates Airlines from operating in Nigeria. According to the Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, the ban will take effect from Monday, September 21, 2020. The PTF subcommittee included them in the list of unapproved airlines when they met with the EU ambassadors earlier today. Regunia Heights College in Chagamu, Ogun State, Nigeria, a co-educational secondary school, sends forth its final year students and miss celebration today at the school premises in Jerry Quarters, Chagamu. They did this while adhering to social distancing rules. Youths of Agudiyama community in the Ekeremo local government area of Bayelsa State staged a protest on Thursday and shut down the Claw Creek Flow Station operated by the Shell Petroleum Development Company of Nigeria. On the international scene, a former model has accused the US President Donald Trump of groping and forcibly kissing her in 1997. This is the latest allegation made against the Republican incumbent just weeks before he seeks re-election. The United States will unilaterally declare this weekend that United Nations sanctions targeting Iran are once again enforced, breaking with almost every other UN Security Council member, including long-term allies. On sports, Nigeria moves to the 29th position as the FIFA World Rankings returned on Thursday after six months. The global order of national team seedings, updated monthly, had been halted since March following the outbreak of coronavirus, which disrupted the international match calendar. Zindain Zidane confirmed on Saturday that Gareth Bale is in London to secure a return to Tottenham, but said the deal is still not closed. Bale arrived at Spurs training ground on Friday and is expected to agree on a one-year loan with the club he left for a world record of 100 million euros in 2013. He said that he hadn't spoken to him in a press conference on Saturday morning ahead of Real Madrid's first La Liga game against Real Sociedad on Sunday. On entertainment, YouTube is thrilled to announce it will be hosting a YouTube Music Week in Nigeria from 21st to 27th of September to celebrate Nigerian music and music stars and most importantly, their many fans. Virtual hangouts with top Nigerian music stars like Pato Rankin, DJ Copy, Adekunle Gold and Fireboy DML will take place over four days during the week. That's it for the news wrap up. Join us next week Monday for more stories on daily news. You could check out our social media platforms on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter and YouTube at Official Remote TV. Please subscribe to the channel. You could also visit our website at www.remotv.com.ng. I'm Naomi Oji. Bye for now.